Hey there, what's up guys? Welcome to Blender Wiz and in today's video we're gonna learn this quick animation using the soft body simulation or the soft body physics. So this is how the animation is gonna look like and yeah this is probably I've tried making jellies so let me just go into the render view so yeah it will look something like this something like this so yeah not wasting our time let's get started but yeah before starting if you like my content then please hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel so yeah okay so let's start so firstly I'll open a new file and I'll delete these lights and camera and then I'll just select this cube go into the edit mode and subdivide it let's say I'll, I'll make the number of cuts to 4 all right and then i come back again into the object mode then i add the soft body physics so i go into the physics property and soft body now the soft body has been applied now if you play the animation it's gonna you know float so just untick this goal now it's gonna fall down and click on these edges and you can see the push and pull like there are various options over here but before that let's just add a plane so that I can explain you what this option actually does so I'll grab it and scale it and now if I play the animation the cube will just you know go through this plane so I'll just add collision to this plane and now it's gonna fall on the plane like this so yeah this is soft body now we have to play with this with these numbers yeah the push pull so like say if I make it to zero the pull value and you can see this is what is happening and let's say if I make push value to 0 and pull 2.5 so yeah this is something like you you just it's just trial and error so you just have to play along with this number and so for the jelly the values I'll put here is 0 0.7 and 0 0.2 for the push so yeah this is what it's doing right now because the bending value is 0 so I'll increase the bending value to 0 0.2 and yeah then I'll just tick on the self collision okay yeah so I just messed up with the values okay the pull value should be 0.2 and push should be 0.7 and let's just increase this pending to 0.3 okay yeah so this looks perfect now this gives the jelly effect you know yeah this and yes so this yeah there are no more options to play with so okay yeah now we'll go and just add a subs of modifier so modifier and subdivision surface and we shade it smooth and now if you play see 
you have that you know warp leaf and yeah so we are done with our first cube now you can you know you just you can just play with the values and you know adjust it according to yourself whichever suits you or you know whichever you like so you just go and play around with these values and yeah so okay anyways so we are done with our first cube and now we just duplicate it to add you know two three more cubes so shift t grab it along the x axis and then grab along the z again x somewhere around here and we rotate yeah all right so now if you play the animation you know this cube it just passes through this cube so the reason for that is because we have not added collision to this cube so we select this cube and add a collision yeah so now if you play you can see this you know it doesn't pass us through it and now yeah you can just increase the pending value to let's say 0.7 Okay. Let okay, let's make it one. Anyways, yeah. Oh, All right. So looks good. And if we add the stiffness, so you know it becomes more stiff. So this is perfect. Looks like a jelly now. and let's add stiffness to this as well and yeah now if you play it looks good it looks good now all right let's just add some another cube so shift g grab x and rotate all right and now we quickly add the materials so we go into the material properties first we add material to this cube and let's name it cube 1 cup okay cube 1 and change the surface to glass bsdf and color to let's say red and decrease the roughness to 0.2 so if you preview the material this is what it's gonna look like okay and let's add another material new material again we do the same glass bhdf and color to let's say yellow roughness to point two and another material and let's name it cube two and we add another material new then this to glass bhdf color to let's say blue and roughness to point two all right so we have added the material this is red and yeah delete this so it becomes yellow and now this as blue and we also add material to the plane as well so new material 
and even this we will give a glossy effect so glass bhdf and color let's say something less color roughness 2.2 or let's say roughness as 0 alright and now if we go into a render view okay so we have to change uh, render to in render engine to cycles all right and now we will change the background color to black and then we add some light so shift a light and we add a sun so drag it along the y-axis and rotate it make sure the lights are on the object so you know you can just adjust it on your own so let's say this and we add another sun so shift D grab and again along the y axis and we rotate it yeah rotate it somewhere over here on the objects and we add another sun Let's adjust it properly first. Okay. So shift D again, X, and we place it over here and we rotate it. yeah all right looks good now we just increase the render samples so we go into this which is output properties and oh sorry we go into this render properties and we increase this render to let's say 500 and viewport to 1100 I'll run you know it's gonna take some time to render but we have you know completed our jelly effect and now if you play the animation gonna look something like this okay so I hope you understood the working of soft body physics 
and yeah if you like the video please hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button and yeah thank you so much for watching